Hello everyone, I'm Divya, your math facilitator and many of you already know that we are doing gunshot questions. So gunshot questions and which I call most important questions. So some of you are mentioned in the comments, if I study only these questions, will I get good marks? Yes, you will get good marks. Most important, what is the meaning of most important questions? Means maximum of your question paper will be covered with these questions. So maximum part will be covered but no one can exactly say this question these are the questions which will come in your question paper no one can exactly guess 100 percent of the question paper but i can guess maximum part of the question paper okay so that that these are those questions so if you practice these questions first thing your marks are secured okay you will surely get good marks okay that's that much guarantee i can give you and tomorrow we are going to do part b questions okay so 10 10 part b papers i'm taking so each question uh each paper 20 questions so likewise we are going to have a live session on part b and also we are going to have mock mock test in the evening apart from this i'm going to give you pass guarantee questions for those students who did not even start your preparation if you want to pass at least what you have to read those questions i'll give you okay so look into this and these gunshot questions are going to save a lot of your time okay because instead of reading the entire chapter i'm making it simple for you i'm simplifying it for you and giving it okay so first thing first question if a metallic cylinder of height four centimeter and radius three centimeter is melted and recast okay metallic cylinder is melted and recast into a sphere find the radius so here you are melting the cylinder and recasting into a sphere so cylinder is converted into a sphere okay so here you understand one shape is converted into another shape so the volume of these two will be equal so first thing in this chapter is you will learn the formula so volume of uh, cylinder is equal to the volume of the sphere understood so equating both you will get the answer what radius of the sphere this model question already in abhyasa deepika questions we have done so all those who did not see please see those abhyasa deepika questions then simple model of question you may get find the csa of cylinder if radius is 14 and height is 21 simple substitution csa 2 pi r h substitute r and h in the cylinder then next question dwakra is a supplied cuboidal shaped wax box okay of cylindrical candles of 88 centimeter 42 centimeter 30 centimeter l b h is given here Okay, whenever you have the dimensions like this, it is LBH, length, breadth and height of the cuboid. From this, how many number of cylindrical candles of 2.8 cm diameter and 8 cm of height can be prepared? So, from this, you have to prepare cylindrical shaped candles. You have a total big wax box. From the big wax box, you are preparing candles. Okay, different amount of candles, different number of candles. Okay, of the same dimension. So, here, volume of this cuboid box equal to volume of the entire candles all the candles together so if you can find volume of one candle volume of all the candles is n into okay number of candles into volume of one candle so that is the equation you are going to get volume of cuboidal box is equal to n into volume of each candle candle is in the shape of a cylinder so cuboidal box volume is lbh is equals to n is the number of candles into volume of each cylinder is pi r square h radius is given height is given so you can find the number of candles from this equation okay so please try to solve it next model of question is a toy is made with seven equal cubes of sides root seven okay six cubes are joined to six faces of the seventh cube then find the total surface area of the toy so you have a cube okay so seven cubes are there and each cube side is root seven centimeter cube now this cube is okay this is the first cube and this cube has six faces top bottom left right front and back so six faces to these six faces what are you doing you are attaching six cubes so one to the back one to left one to right okay one to the front left top and bottom so six cubes i'm attaching to the six faces of the middle cube seventh cube okay now i need to find the total surface area of the toy the entire toy now if you see this is a cube now up i am attaching one more cube down i am attaching here one more cube here one more cube here one more cube okay so that way i am attaching cubes all over the seventh cube so basically you will find one big outer cube so how will you find the total surface area of the toy it is nothing but see this this 
cube which is inside the seventh cube which is inside is totally covered by all the six cube so this cubes surface area you will not take because it is not in the surface you cannot see on the surface it is inside the surface so this this doesn't come under the surface area okay it has gone inside now you leave it now this side if you see for this particular cube one side is covered okay you are attaching to the middle cube you are attaching this cube okay so one side is covered whereas all the five sides one two three four five all the five sides you are able to see so that way similar explanation for all the other six cubes so one was attached this side one, one is attached this side so for this cube this side is attached all the remaining five sides comes under the surface area so it is nothing but five five cube so total six cubes so six into five faces i am able to see so five into a square each face area is a square so 30 a square and here a is root seven so that is the answer okay so little logical thinking is needed for this question and that's why i have included this question it's not a regular question now see question number five now in question number five you can see a metallic sphere of diameter 30 centimeter there's a sphere this sphere is melted and recast into a cylinder so sphere is converted into cylinder simple volume of sphere equal to volume of cylinder so if you see most of your questions are from conversion of one shape to another Direct question if they ask you CSO of a cone or a cylinder like second question, they will give you the dimensions. You have to find, simply substitute and find. Okay. And they may ask you a big shape like in the third question. A big shape is converted into small, small shapes. So, volume of the bigger shape equal to n times volume of the smaller shape where n is the number of the small shapes you are getting. So, in general formula. So, these are the questions which you can expect from this chapter. Now, when I, when I say these are the questions, it doesn't mean these are the only questions. Okay. These are the most important questions and uh, same model you will get. Okay. Not the same number. Please don't expect same number questions. You hardly get same questions from the textbook. Then how will you get the same questions? Number will be definitely be different. Okay. So, understand the logic and then practice the questions okay and you are going to get so many uh, sessions this way so do subscribe to the channel and share these sessions with all your friends whoever are in need and i hope you have practiced the previous questions if not please do practice them okay so all the previous questions which i which i have done abhyasa deepika questions also are very important i'll share the link of abhyasa deepika questions in the community section so do open it and check it out okay and do share all these sessions with your friends as well and whatever questions i gave you now in the session you need to practice it and tell me whether you are able to do all the questions or not in the comments okay so that i can take up if you need any other extra question i can take up those questions okay so all the very best people keep smiling keep practicing